Hello. Hey, this is Susan from uh, reversingautoimmunity.com and I just got Facebook Live on my page and so I thought I would give it a shot. So this is an option for me to be able to talk to you guys live every once in a while and um, just hoping some people will hop on and, and check it out. So if you do hop on and um, you have any questions for me, you can just type them in under the video and uh, I'll see them come through on my screen live. So hi to all the viewers popping on. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know um, underneath the video and I will uh, answer them during the call. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about today real quick as I sit here, um, I'm having a little bit of tea time um, in between working and um, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite anti-pain supplements um, and it's magnesium and I've probably talked to quite a few guys already about this. Um, I've written about it in several places and when I get on calls with you guys um, I never leave a call without mentioning it and, and that's magnesium. Magnesium is great for all kinds of, of issues, health issues. The problem is is that most of us are deficient in it at this point. Magnesium, generally we get it from our food and our water, but because uh, of this day and age, we're, we're not having, we're, the soil and our water is depleted, and so we're really not getting as much of it as we should have, um, even if we're eating the world's most perfect diet. So one of the ways that you can increase your magnesium intake is by supplementation, and there's a few ways to do that. Um, before I get to those few ways, um, magnesium is responsible for something like 300 enzymatic processes in your diet in your body. So it's actually one of the most um, necessary uh, substances that our body requires. It's 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 involved in almost all enzymatic processes. So. Um, it's important that we have enough, and the problem is is that most of us don't, even if we eat a really great diet. So there's a few ways you can increase the magnesium in, in, uh, that, that you take in. The people who will most benefit from this are people um, who have mood issues associated with any of the autoimmune conditions that you might be having, um, and pain. Joint pain, muscle pain, they're huge. Um, and I found personally, I had really bad muscle pain for a lot of years, um, primarily in my legs and in my back and in my shoulders. Um, and this was absolutely instrumental to taking care of, um, of those issues. And so I wanted to share how I did this. The first way you can, you can consume more magnesium, get it into your body, is through Epsom salt baths. Um, it's really likely that you guys even have Epsom salt already in the bathroom. Um, it's really, really cheap at the grocery store. It's uh, at the uh, your local drugstore. Uh, it's probably under ten dollars, and you just put a cup or two in your bath water and soak for twenty to thirty minutes a few times a week, and that will probably be enough to take care of some of your your worst nagging pain. Um, unfortunately, in this house, we actually only have showers, so there's two things that I do to um, increase my magnesium in terms of transdermal. One is I, I live in an area that's very well known for our mineral water, uh, natural mineral water in the ground, and we have bathhouses. They're, they're spas, but um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt actually uh, was responsible for building these back when he was... Um, the, the governor of, of New York uh, years ago. So um, very healthy to uh, to soak in the magnesium. So, um, you know, one of the things that I do is actually go and I soak in this mineral rich water, uh, one of the minerals being magnesium. So that's how I get it. The other thing is you can actually use, um, it's called magnesium oil spray. And it's just magnesium chloride brine. Um, this brand is Life Flow. There's also Ancient Minerals um, and probably other ones, but those are the two big ones that um, that I see out there. And I'm not endorsing any brand. You know, those two I've tried and, and they work fine. This is also very inexpensive. It's about $10 or less for an 8-ounce bottle. Um, you can do two things with this. One, you can put about an ounce of it in a foot bath 
um, with just enough water to sort of cover your toes um, and soak in that for 20 to 30 minutes. That's another way that I get around not having a bathtub in my house. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. But I, I've also mentioned this in another post. When I tore my meniscus and I had a bunch of pain and swelling, I also used this spray directly on the pain. So if you have joint pain associated with lupus or um, any of the auto, other autoimmune diseases you might be suffering with, this is a great way um, to sort of get the magnesium right at the source of where you need it. So um, again, this one is Life Flow. I know that there's a little bit of a glare on here. Um, Ancient Minerals is another one. Um, I get this at my local health food store. If you don't have access to a health food store or if your, your store doesn't carry it, you can get it right on Amazon for pretty inexpensive. So the third way I want to talk about how to increase your magnesium is through supplementation. So um, I do three different supplements and I intermix them every single day to sort of make sure that I, I get all my bases covered. One of my favorite ones well, actually, this is a precursor. You can just drink mineral water <laughs> and you'll get ma more magnesium than if you didn't drink the, uh, the mineral water. Um, but this is, um, it's, a, it's called Mega Mag. It's from Trace Minerals. It's 400 milligrams and it just, it's, a, it's ionic, it's liquid. And you just use the dropper to um, put it in your water. What I do is every morning I fill up a pint glass with water and um, drop one dropper in usually uh, with some uh, pink Himalayan sea salt and this actually works really well for your fatigue. Um, so in addition to magnesium being great for your pain, it's also great for your fatigue. Can't beat that. So I do this twice a day. If I have a smoothie, which I actually normally do, I also put some more in there. So. Um, I probably get between 200 and 400 milligrams of magnesium just in this form alone. And a good frame of reference, uh, it, you want about 5 milligrams of magnesium per pound of body weight. So you may need you know, between 600 and 1,000 milligrams per day of magnesium just to bring your levels up to a healthy level. So that's the first. The second one that I love is Neuromag. It's a magnesium 3 and 8 uh, version of magnesium. This brand happens to be Life Extension. I do like this brand. Um, and this magnesium has a tendency to work a little more on your cognitive function. So um, if you suffer from depression or anxiety or mood disturbances that's kind of related to your situation, this has been spectacular. This was single-handedly very uh, a game changer for me in terms of my mood because one of the things that I suffered with, um, not just in my autoimmune journey, but throughout a lot of my adult life was this really weird low level chronic depression and I feel so much better now that that I've got this um, and I take I take three of these a day but um, you know y your your dosage might be different and then the last one I take is uh, I'm really sorry for the glare but it's magnesium glyconate and this is also just another version of magnesium um, that happens to work primarily on your energy levels. So I have a tendency, um, well actually it's known for relaxation, but for me it energizes me. So you may, um, you may get it and either be able to take it before bed to help you sleep, or you can take it in the morning to sort of wake you up a little bit. So Epsom salt, uh, magnesium oil spray, and various supplementations, the ionic version and some pill versions. And if you do a little bit of that consistently throughout the week, um, your pain, your mood, and your sleeping will be much better, I promise. So um, if there's anybody who has any questions, feel free to just type them in right now, um, and I'll see them on my screen, and I can answer them for you now. I'll give you a minute if you want to do that. Uh, one question I just got is how much magnesium should you take? Again, it's going to be specific to how depleted you are 
and your body weight. So you can assume that you are quite depleted if you're here and you have an autoimmune condition. Um, you can assume that you really need this. And you don't have to worry about overdosing or taking too much. But the one thing, you need to be careful about what version of magnesium you do ingest um, as a supplement. I mentioned glyconate and threonate. Um, but if you take, a lot of times your doctor will tell you to take magnesium oxide, and that's actually a really horribly, horribly uh, absorbed version of it, and it ends up making you just have to use the bathroom a lot. So um, you may want to stay away from magnesium oxide. But again, five, five milligrams of magnesium per pound of body weight to catch you up. So, you know, if you don't want to do the math, you could just say, try to get about 800 milligrams of magnesium in various forms throughout the day. And um, you should see all of your symptoms sort of, well, not all of your symptoms, but a lot of your symptoms, your pain, your your cognition, your mood, and your um, your sleeping be a lot better. Any other questions? We're getting a little long here, so I want to just be able to pop off and, and not keep you, but um, if there's no more questions, I am offering um, a new health coaching option. It's called the Health Kickstarter. There's information, uh, two posts down on my page, um, and you can just check it out there. If you're interested, let me know. There's directions on that page on how to take advantage. Okay, well, if there's no other questions. Have a great afternoon. Let me know if you enjoyed this live version of me um, so I can do more. And if you don't like it, I will do less. So you don't have to see my face. <laughs> All right. Take care. Have a great afternoon.